Hello, you've obviously got the same problem I had. For some unexplainable reason, the R is no longer showing in the F1 menu. It's missing, just disappeared. It's not coming up in the F1 menu. Just suddenly, when you needed it in your game, it's not there. You walk up to a tool where it's required for the R to be there, just in such a case as the high pressure washer and nothing. The R is not an option. And it's not just on tools where the R is missing in the F1 menu, it's everywhere. When I was out collecting the collectible wooden toys, gone through all the effort of locating the toy and about to collect it, there's no R. Or when you just need to use the sleep trigger, there's no R. And just like me, you've probably tried everything to fix it. You've checked the settings for keyboard controls to make sure the R is where it should be. If you're using a joystick, you've probably recalibrated that and eventually tried unplugging the joystick and using the keyboard controls on their own, just in case there was a conflict between the two. And when all of that doesn't bring a result, you've probably restarted the game and gone through all of that troubleshooting again. You've even tried restarting your device. Nada. Nothing. Still no R. In my FS22 game, I have a mod house that has two triggers. One for wardrobe and one as the sleep trigger. I tried to, I decided to try something. I walked into the bathroom where the wardrobe trigger is and what do you know? There was the R in the F1 menu. That was the only place where the R option was appearing in the game, so I thought I might as well try it. So I pressed R, made a few changes to my character and saved the game. Wondering if that made any difference at all, I raced back to the bedroom to check out the sleep trigger. Huh, what do you know, there it is. There's the R in the F1 menu. Has it fixed it for everything? Keen to know if the R is appearing where it should, for everything, I checked out the high pressure washer. Huh, there it is. So I'm thinking, a possible fix for the R missing in the F1 menu is to use a wardrobe trigger. Make some changes to your character, save, and then check, check if that's worked for you. Now, if you don't have a farmhouse on your property that has a wardrobe trigger, I suggest quitting your game, Go back to where you can select downloadable content. Click on search. Type in house, click on search. I know this mod has a wardrobe trigger, so you can click on this one if you wish. Otherwise, spend some time looking through the mods to find a house with a wardrobe trigger. This is only a temporary measure, so don't worry too much about the house as long as it has a wardrobe trigger. Click on the house mod. You'll see the screenshots that it has two triggers, one for wardrobe and one for sleep. Click on install and then back until you are back to where you can select career. Here we're going to set up a new game. We're going to get the wardrobe trigger working in this new game, so you don't have to put this house mod into your actual game. Click on career. Find an empty slot and click on that. Continue. Choose a career mode. I recommend new farmer. Click on that and continue. Choose a map. I'm just going to use Elm Creek. Continue and wait for the game to load. Now you're going to need to select the house mod so it's available in the game. Click in the tick box until the tick appears and then click on start. Those that play in Elm Creek know that this is the default farmhouse and it doesn't have a wardrobe trigger. So this is why we've grabbed the mod and we'll replace this house with the mod. Press P to get the shop, select Others, the hamburger icon in the left hand side at the bottom and we're going to click on Construction, then Select. Click on the tab 
labelled buildings than farmhouses. Now move your mouse over top of the farmhouse in the game. It should change colour to show that the house is highlighted. Click on the house and select cell. Now we're going to place the farmhouse mod in this on this property. We had to sell the existing farmhouse as you can only have one farmhouse per game. While you're in buildings farmhouses, scroll through until you see the farmhouse mod you installed and brought into the game. Click on it and keep your finger down on the mouse. Find a location to place the farmhouse mod. I've placed mine on the field behind the silos and red garage. Don't be too fussy as this is temporary to get access to the wardrobe trigger. Walk up to the wardrobe trigger and press R. Make some changes to your character. Confirm the changes, save and quit that temporary game. Come back to where you can select career and pop into your actual game. Because you accessed the wardrobe in the temporary game and saved, the R option should now be available in all games that you play in FS22. Let's check. Find something that requires the R option. I've walked up to the high pressure washer and the R option is in the F1 trigger. Hopefully this fix has resolved your issue as it worked for me. Thank you for watching.